In the realm of hair transplantation, one crucial yet often overlooked component is the use of anesthetic. It's not just about comfort, it's about safety and efficacy. Anesthetic is needed for a multitude of reasons. Firstly, it provides pain relief, making the procedure tolerable. Secondly, it allows for precision as the patient can remain still during the meticulous process. Now, besides pain management, anesthetics reduce anxiety, making the procedure less daunting. They also prevent movement, ensuring the best possible outcome. However, the use of anesthetic isn't without its risks. Toxicity can occur, leading to complications such as nausea, dizziness, or in severe cases, even death. This is why it's imperative that anesthetic is administered by trained professionals such as nurses or doctors. They can monitor the patient's response, adjust dosage as needed and respond swiftly to any adverse reactions. In conclusion, while anesthetic in hair transplantation serves as a powerful tool for pain management and precision, it must be used wisely under the supervision of trained healthcare professionals. Remember, safety first, always. And there you have it, a peek into the world of anesthetics in hair transplantation. Natasha is very soft with the anesthesia, so most patients usually don't complain too much <laughs> when she's doing the anesthesia. How can you rate her? She's doing very well. Uh, she's doing very well? Yeah. You know, this part is really... A lot of patients have a lot of uh, apprehension uh, because feeling like uh, uh, the anesthesia is really very bad. But uh, the key to a good anesthesia is really using a small needle and injecting slowly. At a certain, certain distance off. You know, she introduced the anesthesia in the area that is blanching and already numb. That way she's going to introduce the needle after so you don't feel every time the needle, mm. but the product when she's pushed. So Natasha is a RN nurse, she's been with me for the past uh, 16 years. So. She knows, she understands the well-being of the patient and why it's important to do anesthesia and make sure that uh, the tray and everything is ready. So I'm going to start making the side and uh, thank you Natasha for doing this.